we're going to try to um, learn some things before our lab in thermochemistry, right? That's the name of our unit. Okay? And we talked about specific heat. We talked about, uh, we talked about heat. Okay? So here is an equation that relates all of these things. Okay? So Q, where is it? Uh, Q equals MC delta T. This is a triangle T. Okay? Delta is, means the change, right? Q equals MC delta T. So continue your notes. You're writing down these, right? You're writing this down in your notes. I already wrote it down. Huh? What is that equation for? Wait, what's I'll, I'll explain it. I'll explain it. I'll explain it. I'll explain it. Okay, just write this down. Okay? That's just like the website you looked at. Okay? So, Q equals MC delta. That's a triangle. That's a, a Greek symbol. Meaning delta. Q equals MC delta T. It looks like a capital A. So, you can maybe memorize it as Q equals M cat. And think about taking the M cats because you guys are all like going to be future doctors and uh, pre med. <laughs> Going into pre-med, right? Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so, okay, so Q, what does Q stand for? Well, Q is heat, okay? So we're going to be able to measure the amount of heat. M is for mass, okay? C is going to be the specific heat, specific heat of a substance, so we know the specific heat of water is one, right? And delta T means change in temperature, okay? So that's actually the final temperature, Tf, minus the initial temperature, Ti, which is change in temperature. Okay? Change in temperature. No, it's final minus initial. Okay? So it's temperature final minus temperature initial, which is the same thing as the change in temperature. Okay? Temperature final minus temperature initial. It's a change in temperature. Change in temperature. Okay. Change. Delta means change. Okay, so um, how do I use this thing? Well, let's say I um, have a little heater there. See my little heater? And I'm going to put a pot okay, of water, which is 100 grams of water. I'm going to put a pot there of water, 100 grams of water there. And I want to heat it up to... 80 degrees Celsius, okay? I want to heat it up to 80 degrees Celsius. Well, when I heat it up, I want to make sure that my pot doesn't smoke, otherwise I'll be smoking pot. Don't want to do that. Okay, you just okay. come here to down, man. Like, <laughs> okay. All right, so let's say the pot started off with the water at room temperature. We'll see. We'll say um, 25 degrees Celsius is room temperature. Okay? So, let's find out how much heat is required to raise the water 20, from 25 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius by using this equation. Okay? So, we're going to find Q, which is the amount of heat. We're going to plug in our mass. What's our mass? My, our mass is 100 grams. Good. What's our C? Specific heat of water. Let's use it in calories. So what is it? Delta. Delta. Uh, who said one? D. Good job. Okay. One calorie divided by grams degrees Celsius. Okay. Okay. So that's my C, and my delta T is my change in temperature. Temperature. So final minus initial. So 80 minus 25, what's my change in temperature? What did you say, Steph? 55. 55 degrees Celsius. Okay, and now I have everything, and I'm able to solve for Q, find out how much heat is required to heat up this pot of water, heat up this water. Okay, look, my grams cancel, my Celsius cancels, and I'm left with my Q, in going, is it, and it's going to be in calories. So... Punch that in your calculators. 
100 divided by 55. Sorry, 100 <laughs> times 55 times 1. You don't need your calculators for this. It's easy. So 5,500, 5,500 calories. Okay? That's how much heat is required. Okay? What is this? Stop! Yes. <laughs> now it even gets harder. Let's try to, um, I'll tell you something else, okay? Well, I'll give you some situations and you tell me what's going to happen, okay? What if I had two pots of water? Okay? And they're both 100 grams. One is, they're not smoking, one is 80 degrees, and the other is 25 degrees Celsius. They're both 100 grams. Okay? If I mix them, what do you think the temperature will be? Okay? Keep in mind, they have the same M, they have the same mass, they have the same C, they have the same specific heat. Okay? What would be the temperature of the, mix, the mixture if I mix them both? One's 80, one's 25. All right. What would the resulting temperature be? Well, they have the same M. They have the same mass. They have the same C because they have the same specific heat because they're both water. So the, the hot water will cool, so the temperature will go, go down. The cold water will get hotter, temperature will go up, and they will meet in the middle. So what would be the middle temperature between 80 and 25? What's the middle? 52.5. 52.5 degrees Celsius. Perfect. Okay. Any questions about that? Right? Pretty easy, right? Okay, hard. So, actually, the hot water will get cold, if you mix the two waters, right, one is 80, one is 25 degrees Celsius, okay, if I mix, yeah, we just find the average, yeah, okay, perfect, all right, here's another situation, here's another situation, and I'm going to make it hard, okay, here's a pot of water, 100 grams. Shh, 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 shh. Stop. Can I go to the restroom, y'all? Yeah? Yes. Okay, so 100 grams of water, and then I have 100 grams of a certain metal. We don't know what the metal is. 100 grams of metal. Okay, we heat that, the water to 80 degrees Celsius. But the metal is room temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, okay? So, I get this cold metal, and I put it into the hot water. I get this cold metal, and I put it into the hot water, okay? What do you think the temperature will be? What do you think the temperature will be? Okay, the... Let me give you a hint. The specific heat of the metal is low, is uh, kind of like our specific heat of iron. The metals are really close uh, in uh, specific heat. They are all lower than one. Okay, so the specific heat of the metal is less than one. Okay, so what do you think the resulting temperature will be now? Okay, we know. Right? We know it's going to be somewhere between 80 degrees and 25 degrees. Can we all yeah. agree? Yeah. Good. Okay. So if we, could, we can all agree that uh, it's between 80 and 25, the temperature of the metal will raise and the temperature of the water will lower. Okay. Now let's look at the specific heats because we're looking at we're dealing with two different specific heats now. It specific heat of the water is higher than specific heat of the metal, so it's going to require more heat to change the temperature of the water, right? It's going to require more heat to change the temperature of the water. Does that make sense? Okay. So will our temperature, our final temperature, be closer to that of water or closer to that of the metal? Yeah, good. 
Okay? Can everybody think about that, right? Since the specific heat of water is higher, the final temperature will be closer to the to the temperature of the water. Right? So it's going to be closer to 80 degrees than it is to 25 degrees. So our resulting temperature, a good guess would be maybe any anything higher than 52.5. 52.5 is right in the middle, right? So anything between 52, so it would be between uh, 52.5 and 80. Right? That's our guess. It'll be closer to the temperature of the water. So it'll be closer to 80 degrees. Got it? I don't know. Got it? That's the answer. Okay? Between 52.5 and 80 degrees Celsius. <laughs> okay. <laughs> makes so much sense. This makes so much sense. <laughs> makes a lot of sense. No. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah. Whoa, man. This is the only place I know in Japanese. Okay. That's going to help you with your lab. This is my offering. Are you ready? We're going to do some calculations. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's go back to our water example. Okay, we got water. We got the metal. Okay, the metal is, let's say, uh, 23 degrees Celsius because uh, it's AC, so it'll be uh, kind of lower. Uh, we have 100 grams of metal and 100 grams of water. Uh, we really, uh, put the temperature of water as uh, boiling, so let's do 100 degrees Celsius, okay? Now, here's a question. What's the specific heat of the metal? We don't know. We don't know. We can solve for that, though. Yes, you know we can solve for that? All right. So, let's try to solve for that, okay? Um, what we're going to do is put this... Cold metal in the hot water, putting the cold metal in the hot water, and they will equal in temperature after a while. Okay? And we can find the specific heat of the metal. Okay, so bear with me, I'm gonna do some math. Okay, Q or the heat lost by the water equals the heat gained by the metal. So, heat lost of the water equals the heat gained by the metal. Does that make sense? The heat transfers from the water to the metal because the water is hot, right? Okay, yeah. the metal is cold, so the heat, as we mix the two together, the heat from the water will go to the metal. The same amount of heat, right? No. So, the heat lost by the water equals the heat gained by the metal. And we can do, uh, neg uh, so Q equals MC delta T, so Q equals negative M of the water, so MW, times the specific heat, that's a W, C of the water, times the delta T of the water. Guys, I wish I had nicer handwriting too, so we're all in the same boat, okay? Because... <laughs> because I, 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 I called Supercuts and they were all booked, so I don't have a stylus. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, if you're gonna throw something, throw tomatoes at me, not pens. Let's try. Okay. Mass of the metal equals mass of the metal times C of the metal times the delta T of the metal. Does that, doesn't that make sense? Alright, so 
MC delta T of the water equals MC delta T of the metal. Yeah. Right? Okay. And so what are we solving for? We're going to solve for the specific heat of the metal. So CM is what we're trying to solve for. Okay? So we can plug everything else in. We know everything else and we just solve for CM, so or the specific heat of the metal. Okay? So let's plug it in. What was the mass of the water? 100 grams. 100 grams. Okay, what was the specific heat? What's the specific heat of water? No, I'm dead serious. What does that say, MJ? MW. MW. Oh. Okay. What's the specific heat of water? One. One, good. What was the change of temperature of the water? I'll give you a hint. It went from 100 degrees. Oh, we have to, we have to say, sorry, I should have given you, okay. It, it goes to 80 degrees. Let's say it goes to 80 degrees Celsius. Okay, so water... Okay, so when I mix the two, they, they uh, came to 80 degrees Celsius. Okay, so what's the, cha what's the change of temperature of water? Negative 20, good. Um, can we take a break? <laughs> right? Equals the mass of the metal. What was the mass of the metal? 100 grams, good. Specific heat of the metal, we don't know, so that's C of the metal. And what's the change of temperature of the metal? I'll give you a hint. It went from 23 to 80 degrees. It rose in temperature. We're going to have a positive change in temperature. So what? Okay, 57. All right. We can uh, cross out 100 on either side. And then we get uh, negative, negative 20 times, times uh, negative. So that's positive 20. What? What is that? Okay. Wait, you just cross out the Why? Why did you cross out the whole thing? No, we can do that because this is a positive. Because it's a negative times a negative. Negative times a negative. If we isolate CM, what we have to minus 100 and then put it on the other side. No, they're all, they're all multiplied. So they're multiplying. Okay, C. Shh. Okay, good job for participating. Good, good question. Okay, so CM times uh, 57. All right, let's solve for uh, CM, the specific heat of the, me of the yeah, metal. Why was that negative 20? Because the negative was here. We have a negative times a negative, which gives me a positive. Well, I thought you should cancel it all, so 100. Wait, why is the difference negative 20? Because this is the difference not... Okay, so what's 20 divided by 57? 0.35. Good job. Okay, what's going to be what's going to be our units? Uh, specific heat. What's specific heat in? Well, our our original specific heat was was uh, one gram. Uh, gram, uh, calories per gram degree Celsius, so this one also has to be calories per gram degree Celsius, okay? And that's going to be our specific heat of the metal, okay? 0.35, okay? You guys got the point? Yeah. Good. Oh, that was pretty close. Put it. You got the point? Good, because it's right before the three. All right, so we, you guys understand specific heat pretty well now, right? Okay, look at all the things we did. Look, hey look, we got the general formula for specific heat. We, try, we tried to plug it in for one situation. We estimated two more situations. And then a fourth situation, we even calculated the specific, the specific heat. Pretty cool, all the things we did.